Center for Disease Control said that literally 18,000 photos a day, naked photos, our kids are sending to each other. 9,000 kids a day are being blackmailed. 9,000 kids a day. That, and they say that literally 58% of that 9,000 are going out to meet their pedophile, trying to negotiate that photo back. Think about what I've just said here. That literally is about 8% of all the teenagers in America. That's why I want to make a documentary. Never again should that happen. It does not have to happen. We need to explain to kids where naked photos go when you hit send and what happens when this happens and more importantly, how to keep your kids safe. Technology is changing the family dynamic. Uh, I actually often will say that total strangers now can talk to our children about morality and spirituality and sexuality and things that were the holy grail for a parent. I mean, we are putting 9, 10, 11 year old kids on the World Wide Web without a parent understanding what they're doing other than checking and going, I hope that's okay. Uh, except that a nine year old does not have cognitive reasoning. It's kind of like driving your nine-year-old down to a strip club and leaving them off and coming back in an hour and seeing how they do. We put them in a video game chat room that has adult males in it. They would never invite in their living room, but they have a veil of denial because they can't bring themselves to look at it. Child pornographers meet in the clear web and they go in the dark web, but in the meantime, they're seducing our kids into sending a naked photo. That photo is being sent to a pedophile who then buys, sells, and trades it in the dark web forever, over and over and over. I sat with a parent whose heart is bleeding because their 14-year-old son was seduced in in some video game chat room into sending that naked photo. And now he's getting thousands of messages from people he doesn't know. Some of them want to come over. GPS is on the back of photos. If this is taken in a, a, a bedroom, then that, that pedophile knows where that child lives. And they want to come over and they want to have sex and they want more photos and they want money. That child's life has changed forever. But what I want a parent to understand is so has the parent's life. Because what has happened here is someone has come into their home a home without walls and seduce their precious child and that child's life will change and so will the parent. The parent will blame themselves, they blame each other and in the meantime the bond between the parent and the child has been broken. Parents will often ask me, when do I give a child a phone? I say not before you've had that sex talk because if you haven't had a sex talk with your child, don't give them a phone. Total strangers will have that sex talk with your child. We are losing 8% of our young people every day in sextortion. And I'm going to tell you that I know when I talk to kids and I explain this to them, they go, oh my God, I never got it. I never understood why somebody wanted my naked photo. They'll say, can you get it from Snapchat? You can see the fear in their eyes. And I'm like, what you got on Snapchat? Yes, you can get it from Snapchat. You can get it from Dropboxes. Here is how the internet is made. And here is how it can be used to be the most powerful opportunity of all times. But it can also be the greatest violator of all times. I believe it's kind of an interesting time in all of history. We are putting our young people on these devices and we're giving them no background, no education. Neither do the developers of the apps. They hand them the app and they don't tell you this is how a pedophile is going to use it to violate your child or to access, groom, recruit, and exploit your child. We've got to talk to our kids and explain to them how it works and how it can be used for the good, but also how can it be used for bad. I want to do something about this. Our kids do not have to be violated. I know when you talk to kids, they listen, but I need a bigger megaphone. I need people. And in fact, I had a principal recently. I spoke in his school and he said, you must give this to every school in America. And it is my goal to do that. It is my goal to make a documentary and explain how the internet's made. You know, challenge the kids, show them how all of this works. 
and explain to them that they are the most important generation that has ever lived. You see, I believe with all my heart that they are in fact the most important generation and I'll tell you why. Because they are laying the foundation for all future generations of kids. And if we don't get this right, we're going to pay. But I know that the kids want the information. We just need a way to create it and share it with them on how all this happens. And that's what I want to do. I want to make a documentary, not just any documentary, not an internet safety documentary. I want a documentary called Impact Your Place in History. I want to challenge our kids to be leaders to think of themselves as laying the foundation for their children and, and their grandchildren and their grandchildren. That technology deserves respect and responsibility and that it can empower them to be the greatest leaders of all time. So I wanna show them how that, in, that internet is made. I want them to think about their lives in the timeline of history and that this is all that's happened right up to this point. And now here we go forward. And what are they going to do to impact the timeline of the future history? So the idea of the documentary is it'll be 55 minutes. It'll fit in any classroom. It'll be absolutely free if I can get it funded. I want to be able to get it out to tens of millions of kids all around the world. Now the parents can have it free too because they need it also but I want this for free in the school. And in order to do that, I've got to raise the money to do it. But we're getting there. The people realize this is the single greatest investment they can make in their children and their grandchildren because their children are probably great kids, but they're kids who are uninformed, the same as the parent and the grandparent. This does not have to happen. We can inform them. I do it every day of my life. And that's why I want to make that documentary.